Hello beautifuls and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So this is a report for Monday the 27th of March 2023. Is it me or are these wave spells absolutely frigging flying? Definitely entering a new time or a new experience of time. So I hope that the previous wave spell, the previous 13 days, supported you to integrate, supported you to bring out some of those shadows and let go of some of the old echoes and come into greater harmonisation with the totality of who you are and the totality of what this reality is. You know, for me, it's been really big medicine around triggers being gateways you know and just really seeing that you know there's no such thing as the good guys and the bad guys it's just simply that we are portals for one another's evolution you know and when we can really lean into that you know i had this amazing experience with somebody that's been in my life for a very very long time and we had a period of like you know we journeyed so closely and then had a period of really bringing up one another's core stuff and it felt like you know this is the end and we're back together you know in journeying together now and just in a completely different rung and we were saying it feels like there's not very many of us that get the opportunity or there's not very many relationships in our lives that give this opportunity of like we can go to the core of our shit because we're in this dynamic together and then we can re-emerge together at the perfect time. So that was really my yellow sun vibe, but we're moving into a new wave spell now. We're moving into this 13 day process, which is the red Skywalker. <clears throat> so the red Skywalker energy is red and the red signs are about awakening. They're about beginning, they're about start they're about a new awareness it's like a, a fire you know and the skywalker is about our heart's desires it's about our dreams so as we go through a 13-day process with the archetype that governs our heart's desire and our peace of heaven on earth we often, as is always the case with these wave spell journeys, with these archetypal 13 day immersions, you know, we go through perhaps the ways that we're creating nightmares in our lives in order to see the contrast between what we really want to be creating. And yeah, this energy of like the heart is is vast isn't it you know and this idea of you know what our what our heaven on earth looks like it's different for each one of us and this is the thing that I always find so remarkable with like synchronicity and you know when we really when we're really permitted this is one of the reasons that I love unschooling and this idea of organic childhood so much because you really get to see through these kids how individual our essence is and you know for those of us that went through the conditioning factory and we've broken ourselves free a lot of us but still there is this like you should want this thing or you should do this to be healthy or you should you know all of these different layers that have been imprinted and because we've had the conditioning of we need the external layering in order to recognize what's right and wrong good and bad and suitable and unsuitable and all that shit it means that you know we've kind of got a really even if it's the global collective vision of this is what heaven on earth looks like when we actually strip it down what that means for each one of us to actually bring this heaven on earth to reality is different and it's meant to be different because we each hold a different piece of the puzzle. So during this 13 day process, you know, you might meet the contrast. This is like the Abraham Hicks stuff. You know, there's this idea of when we, when we feel something in our reality that is, is feeling edgy, actually what that is, is a marker of like, here's the thing that needs to shift and 
we may feel, receive, experience the aspects of our lives that are still not operating in integrity with our hearts. We might have challenges, we might feel limited, but again, what this is bringing is like, okay, so what does my abundance look like? And you know, the truth is that we are the manifestors, we are the ones that create. So when we have these subconscious things going on under the surface, reality is always going to birth it because whether it's conscious or subconscious we're creating it all the time we're writing the codes all the time but that means that we can rewrite the codes too so this is a really wonderful time to feel into like what do you want to create with your life you know and this like dual thing that i've mentioned before of like what do you want to create as an imprint for the collective to receive and what do you want to create for you personally to experience, you know, and feeling those as two elements of what we're here to, to birth on the planet. And, you know, sometimes the personal desire and the collective where we're wanting to get to can be a bit discordant, you know. So how does what you're wanting to bring into the world also harmonise with the world? You know, how does it fit into where we're wanting to go as a collective? So feeling into that, you know, like what what's the vision? What's the dream? You know, and, and often the dreams that we had as children, the things that lit us up when we were children are our core codes. So even if it looks slightly different, you know, it's like for me, I wanted to be a teacher when I was a kid, you know, and, and I guess at that time I was like our school teacher. But actually, when I'm with children, I'm the antithesis of a teacher because I'm anti that whole notion. But with consent, <laughs> I, that's what I do. Like I teach people systems when they say, yes, I would like to learn that. <laughs> so these codes are really held within us. You know, we already have the seeds. So it's about being able to like open that out. OK, how do I want my life to look? What do I want my experience to be? What is it that I want and desire? How does that fit into the bigger picture? And then the shadow journey of the Red Skywalker is what's in the way. So when we're looking at what's in the way, we're looking at what's in the way in our personal history, primarily. You know, like what experiences, what traumatic experiences, what wonky ideas did I get imprinted with that's stopping me from living the abundant reflection? Like what is the... What's the pain that I'm carrying that's stopping it? Because it's the only thing, we're like, only we are stopping ourselves from having the experience that we want to have. You know, it's only us. There isn't an external at all. <laughs> but particularly, there's not an external limitation. It's always this indi individual internal magnet that's creating that's pulling toward it, these experiences that match the pain from the past. So what's in the way? Like, what are the beliefs? What are the experiences? Like, create the map. Here's where I wanna go. This is what I wanna live. But all these things come up and are being brushed up upon, brushed upon, whatever, um, that are in the way of that. So that's then where we focus. Birth, the idea, the vision, get it out of you somehow and then feel into what's in the way and then spend some time here. What do those parts of me need? How can I dismantle that conditioning? How can I feel the feelings that I wasn't able to feel at the time? How can I let this go? You know, and it's always about shadow work. So however you do that is up to you. But we do have other layers of this. We've also got the wider layers of the societal conditioning. You know, like what was the culture that you grew up in? What was the family culture to begin with? What was the social culture? Like what was the culture of the village that you grew up in? What's the culture of the, the country? What's the global culture? You know, and when I say all of these things around culture, it's the expectation that comes with the culture. So what are the cultural limitations, the societal limitations that you've been imprinted by that are stopping you from this, that are stopping us from this? Because essentially what this is about, you know, it's like the... The Skywalker is able to live between the realms and is the bridge between the realms. So we do have 
a multitude of dimensional realities that we're all operating within, you know, and, and for whatever, however it works with our conscious awareness, us together here now are plugged into this one. But we have the opportunity to heighten the vibration of it. Yes, there's a lot of weightiness to this realm, but we can already feel that we, most probably if we're watching stuff like this, are already having those experiences of synchronicity where we're existing in a higher unified vibration, a higher unified dimension. And our role is to live here all the time and here and here and here. So how do we untether ourselves so that we can live in that? You know, and it's interesting that that's the thing that my fingers are doing because it's about the height of the vibration. It's about the more subtle existence you know we're living more in the light body and that's not to say that we don't descend into the physical and we don't have the most juicy beautiful physical experience of this reality because this is the physical realm it's amazing to be in a body it's amazing to be rooted to the earth and feeling gaia like that is epic but we can do that from a place of abundance we can do that and have our higher mind activated. We can be super grounded and have our higher mind activated so that we can create and flow in peace and love through this reality. But the whole kit and caboodle of this entire experience is about the dismantling for now, the dismantling of the limitation. And we have a duty to birth our heaven on earth. We have a duty to birth our abundance. We have a duty to step into the unlimited potential that we are because in doing that you know it's not simply this idea that you know again the like wonk of the old the old ways of operating of like the class system and all these different pieces of like neoliberalism and like you know you go and you fucking graft and everything's about the graft and it's all about productivity and all this shit it's like no but we are meant to get successful. We're meant to be successful. But in this new way, in the abundant realm, your success does not take away from or limit anyone else's success. When we're plugged into source, we can all ascend together. So within these 13 days, we're really being given the visions of what it is that we want to live the taste of how it is that we can exist, the gateway to be able to really see and claim, like, what do you want? Claim it, it's yours. If it's alive in your heart, if it feels right for your soul, it's right. So you can claim that. That in itself can be a growth edge. It is a growth edge. But then it's not simply the, mm, I'm going to just visualise it and I'm going to wait. It's the fucking hell, but there's all this shit that I believe means that I can't live that. All this shit that I believe that means that we can't live that. All the story around governments and corruption and blah, 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 blah. Ugh. Actually... We're creating it all. There is no us and them. There is no separation. There is no divide. That idea is political agenda. So if we're buying into that idea, we're already playing the role that people may want us to play. But actually, the whole thing is just the two sides of the coin of evolution. It's juicy. It's beautiful. It's meant to be as it is. But we change it through changing ourselves. We change it through letting go of what has happened to us in the past. Really opening our hearts. And when we open our hearts, then we can live this, this thing that we're wanting to create. It's my birthday in this wave still. I'm very excited. And it feels really good. You know, I've kind of finished my Saturn return now and... I just feel very centred in my life and you know the past few months I've been going through this process of what I'm kind of talking about really. What do I want my life to look like but also what do I want my experience of my life to look like 
and kind of coming more into balance from like just going into that fucking savior i want to do good shit on the planet regardless of what my experience of creating that is and coming back into like now nah, man i want to have a really shit hot life and really enjoy my experience of being here and being a human and also pour into the part of the new earth so yeah i'll be 31 which again feels interesting, you know? Yeah, time is a funny one, isn't it? Time is a funny one. And yeah, just really, I can feel all the astrological shifts of the moment and it just, it's like we're opening now. You know, we're really opening to this new way of being a human, new way of being a human race, new way of being a human individual being, new way of operating within this reality and if we can utilise these windows, we're doing it for ourselves and we're doing it for the collective. And things get easier and better and shinier and ding! So I have a beautiful wave spell. Have a look at my Etsy store. I've got lots of magic on there. I'm going to be uploading lots more magic soon. More on that later. <clears throat> Have a look at my website. I've got a Reiki master training in person coming up and um, a place still left on that. We start, I think it's like two weeks away now, which is going to be wonderful. So that's in the north of the UK and it's all about being a multidimensional, professional, responsible practitioner, an esoteric teacher. It's going to be well good. And yeah, obviously I do all the magic with children too, so check out my website, check out my Etsy, and have a beautiful web spell. Bye darlings. <laughs>